Hey, Jaron. What's up? You probably, you sounds like you're right there. So I'll ask the same question I asked Malik. What do you feel like Kalani has taught you about gratitude? I'm going to remember what he said. Uh, I didn't, I didn't think about a lot of those things about our fans, honestly. <clears throat> Somebody just say I'm grateful for our fans, honestly. Um, uh, but you know, Kalani mentioning how, how devoted these fans are to us. I mean, don't even really know us who we are individually, but the fact that we are representing BYU is something they love and, and the fact that they're investing in our lives now and, and supporting us, man, it's a, it's a blessing, honestly. So it's just to realize how those fans on the East Coast that came to that game, the same ones staying up late at night uh, when most people are sleeping and, and up yelling, screaming at the TV, good or bad, just invested in us. It's, uh, you know, it's amazing. So it's one of the things we're, I'm, I'm very grateful for being here at BYU. The other question I had for you is more, you know, on field uh, as far as those deep balls. Um, I know you guys talked about not wanting the, the long foul balls. You want to give your guys a chance to make plays. How hard is it, though, when you're watching on film and you see a guy, I think Keanu Hill had a, you know, had some steps and the ball came in a little short and he wasn't able to maybe get that touchdown. How, when you're watching that, what do you say to yourself about those types of moments? Yeah, get the ball out sooner. Just see it faster. I mean, that's all you can do. So a completion is a completion. And, you know, you, you can live with the what ifs and what would, but you throw a completion for 40, 50 yards, be happy with it and go score again, you know. We have questions now from Alex and then Jay Drew. Good afternoon, Jaron. I'm uh, curious if you have any uh, specific Thanksgiving plans outside of the practice that you guys have in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to have Thanksgiving with my, my in-laws. I'm at their home. Um, so eat some good food and try not to get too plump so we can be fast on Saturday. So that's about it. We'll practice in the morning and then uh, spend time with our families the rest of the day. Cool. That sounds nice. Um, in terms of on the field, um, you know, I'm not sure how, how familiar you were with, uh, with Jackson Dart when he played for Corner Canyon and also for Roy before, but it's possible that you guys are going to have like a, a quarterback battle on Saturday. Um, what do you kind of know and, and about Jackson and what have you seen from him and how are you kind of anticipating that um, offense, offensive uh, battle on Saturday? Um, I mean, I don't know anything about their offense, to be honest. I've watched Jackson personally a little bit just because I know him um, this year and the times he's been able to play and, and the dude throws the heck out of the ball. Um, I was able to watch him at Corner Canyon and work out with him, you know, in California with John Beck this year. So I know I know Jackson and, um, and I wish the best for him this week. But for me, I don't know anything about their offense. That's not for me to be concerned about, worried about. Um, it's our job to be ready for their defense and just go score points. Go ahead, Jay. Hey, Jaron, I asked Kalani about this, and he kind of shut me down, but I'll, I'll try with you. Are you guys paying attention to the college football rankings at all, your possible bowl destination? Is that a talk in the locker room, or how are you guys approaching that? No, nah, no, nah, we're just worried about the next game. And then I wanted to ask you about the surface at the Coliseum. You see it on TV. It looks like a putting green. <laughs> is, is there any difference for a player surface to surface playing on? Do you have to wear different shoes? Or is that a concern at all? Uh, no, I mean, it's football. You do it a lot, you know, with college football. A lot of fields of turf, a lot of grass. You just kind of mix it up. So um, I think that's probably a better question for guys like receivers and DBs to answer because they're the ones kind of breaking and cutting. Uh, for me, it's no difference. Um, for those guys, I mean, good enough athletes, I think they adjust pretty quickly. So you just kind of get used to a warm-ups and then go play whatever you're on. And we do a good job of mixing up grass and turf in <laughs> practice. And then growing up, were you in awe at all of the USC kind of mystique or aura that a lot of people give with all the tradition and all the great yeah. players yeah, they've had? Sure. Did you pay attention to that at all? I mean, growing up watching Reggie Bush, um, you know, he was one of my favorite players as a young kid to watch. I um, watch YouTube videos on his stuff. And, you know, I saw the, saw the crowd, you saw the stadium, and then I followed Pete Carroll, you know, to, to Seattle where, you know, Russell Wilson plays, so I watched. So just kind of in, in that sense, I've – you know, been aware of USC and, and history there. So it'll be it'll be fun to play there Saturday. Questions from Jake Hutch. Yeah, Jaron, similar to what Jay just asked, but there are stadiums that are iconic when it comes to college football. Are you looking forward to playing in the Coliseum? Absolutely, for sure, 100%. I also wanted to ask, you've had a lot of offensive linemen kind of shift around. We've seen James Empey go out. We've seen Braden Kime step in now. Is there any difference for you, or are you just like, hey, you're my five guys, go out there and get the job done? 
Uh, no difference. You know, just find a way to, to motivate the new guys who are in. Uh, just build confidence in them because everyone we have in this roster is capable to play and play well. So, um, you know, just getting those guys that are that are new to playing time, just get them ready and up to speed. And, and they've done a good job so far, everyone who stepped in. So um, a lot of confidence and, you know, nothing different for me. I also wanted to ask you just in terms of your receiving core, you lose a guy like Neil, but you've seen the have guys like Keanu Hill step up. Is that just, I guess, a byproduct of the coaching they've received? They're just able to step in and just have like no missed beat at all? Yeah, Fessy and A-Rod, they, I mean, they demand a lot out of the receivers and our receivers are up to the challenge every time, you know. So Keanu's done a great job stepping up all year long. You've seen his name. Same with Chris Jackson, um, who's, who came in early in the year and, and did a lot of good things for us. So whenever guys go down, there's always, you know, another who's next up. And, and that's kind of something we preach. You know, I think every football team does the same because you never know what happens.